Hey, happy Easter, Faith Fox. Glad you guys are joining us on Easter Sunday. I hope that wherever you're watching from, uh, whether it's you know here in the States or somewhere else in the world or with family or on your own, uh, that you can remember and reflect and celebrate on the resurrection of Jesus. Uh, if you don't have any plans, you're more than welcome to join uh, our church. We're streaming our services on YouTube and on Facebook um, at 11 a.m. Eastern and then 6 p.m. Eastern. So facebook.com forward slash meta, M-E-T-A, N-Y-C. So that's a little pitch, but if you don't have any plans, you're welcome to join. Uh, I'd love for you to be a part of our live service uh, today. So we'll see you guys then maybe. Um, but our devotional today takes place in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 21 through 23. Uh, and the Apostle Paul wrote this, Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. As we surrender our thoughts and beliefs to God, the Holy Spirit starts to renew our minds and attitudes. You see, God's intent for renewal is not that it be a, quote, one-man job, but that we actually partner with God to experience renewal in our lives, which is what you know I mentioned a few days ago, um, I think on Good Friday. Uh, it says, our responsibility is to let go or to throw off the former ways of life and let the Spirit work in us. One doesn't work without the other. In other words, if we let go of our former ways, but don't let the Spirit renew our thoughts, then we're stuck. And if we don't throw off our sinful nature, then we limit the Holy Spirit's ability to fully renew our minds. We know the Spirit is committed to doing His part, and we know that through the power of Jesus' resurrection, we can do our part and partner with Him. So you have to ask yourself this question, am I partnering with the Spirit's work in my life? I love this, again, because you know we think about the resurrection, we celebrate it today, and that resurrection is what gives us the power and the ability to partner with the Holy Spirit in our lives. It gives us victory over sin. It gives us freedom from our past. And it gives us the ability, the courage to move forward, even in a time like this, when things are uncertain, when things uh, are unclear, when we don't know how long this is going to last, when we don't know what we're going to return to, when we don't know what the new normal is going to look like. Jesus' resurrection gives us the ability, the faith, the hope, and the power to move forward in that. And as we move forward, we can partner with the Holy Spirit. We can partner with God to experience a renewal and the power of the resurrection in our lives each and every day. That's the hope and the message found in the Easter story. And so again, I pray that you would celebrate it, that you would remind yourself of the hope that you have in Jesus. Uh, and I hope that you have a great day, whether you watch your church, our church, or something else. Um, celebrate and reflect on the good news that Jesus is alive. And because he is alive, you have hope for your life. We'll see you guys tomorrow, Faith Fox.